Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to calculate a confidence interval. And what this is going to tell us about our data is basically we can be 95% confident that the mean amount of leakage or regurgitation is going to be between two values. Um, so to do this, we're going to go to stat, and then you go basic statistics. And we could do sample Z, but that's only, you only do sample Z if you know um, your standard deviation for every heart valve ever made. So instead, you're going to pick sample T. Uh, so then you go ahead and do that. And then again, you can select them all at once just by double clicking each one. And then basically, you're going to go to options. And you and your group needs to figure out what kind of confidence interval you want. Um, alpha at 0.05 or 5% is the main confidence interval, and that's why you put 95. And then make sure this says not equal. And then you just press OK. So what this is going to tell us is that we can be 95% confident that the mean leakage, leakage control for our control is going to be between 7.6382 uh, and 8.0271. And then again, I'll show you the mean and the standard deviation right next to it.